right, now the Super Eagles of Nigeria fell to Ivory Coast in the final of the 2023 African Cup of Nations at the Alassane Tara Stadium. Ivory Coast won the Africa Cup of Nations after coming from behind to defeat Nigeria by two goals to one. The hosts started as the better, more aggressive team, creating chances on goal and playing with a confidence that they've lacked throughout the rest of the tournament. The fans inside the stadium gave the match a lively and excitable atmosphere which intimidated Nigeria from providing an upset. While Ivory Coast have now equaled Nigeria's record of lifting the trophy three record times. From Abidjan, we are now joined by Nigeria's Minister of Sports Development, that's John Owan Eno, to speak to us about his expectations before the match and what he thinks Nigeria did or refused to do, which cost them the trophy. Good afternoon, and it's a pleasure to have you here on Newsday. And uh, congratulations are still in order because silver is still a great achievement. But uh, I'd love to hear from you. You were there live at the stadium. Uh, Aaron, will you help us to ask the minister what were his thoughts of the final match yesterday? Yeah, good afternoon to you, Vimba. Yeah, I will take it from here. And like you said in your build up, a very painful loss to the Super Eagles of Nigeria and more importantly knowing that a lot of people were here to celebrate the Super Eagles but we fell just a yard short and it is with great pleasure that we welcome on the Rise News the Minister of Sports Senator John Enna. I want to say thank you very much for joining us today and I know as an interviewer that this is these are usually some of the hardest times to actually probably grant interview because what the expectations were not met. There is a lot of disappointment in the air. Investments have been made. Because first of all, let me start it off on that particular note. A lot of people, I was speaking with journalists and somebody mentioned that for the very first time in a very long time, the Super Eagles are going into a tournament and we're not talking about monies. The NFF president has told me personally to say a massive thank you to you. A lot of people have been saying thank you to you for that. But ultimately, we are not able to crown this achievement with glory. Talk to us about this. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Aaron. I mean, it's, uh, I, mean, I mean, I've started this with a giggle of laughter, but I think you are right. I mean, it's, um, it's uh, even accepting to do this interview. I mean, I wish, I wish I, I didn't have to do it, but I must do it. I mean, it's, um, it's like, it's like, you know, going into an election, you know, and then you are, especially in more civilized, you know, democratic climes. You, you have two speeches, you have a concession speech and you have a victory speech. I mean, it's, um, that's what it is like. So, and especially in sports, you must be sports manly enough, you know, to be able to, to say something and not to, you know, shy away from the press. So I, I accepted to do this because I think that Nigerians will also like to hear from me. Uh, I mean, you know, somewhat. You know, so you're also right. I think that um, uh, I'm, for example, you know, still presently in a state of some kind of emotional roller coaster. I mean, you are, you know, in one breath. You know, you wish that. Uh, I wish that I was doing this interview after coming on victorious yesterday. You know, but in another way too. I'm also looking at okay. It, did you know? Did we we played up to the finals? Uh, I mean, it, it's not it, this is not the prize that we had hoped for. Uh, two years ago in Cameroon, I mean, we didn't advance beyond the round of 16, and here are we in Abidjan, you know, 2024, you know, playing the finals, and then you know, the finals that you know we're all full of hope. We're very hopeful indeed, you know, that this this cup was going to be ours. We're going to take it home, but uh, at the end, unfortunately, you know, we are not able to, you know. So, but I, you know, you know somehow I think you are also right. You know, you talked about the first time that you know we we run the entire tournament without the usual Nigerian stories coming out of the camp. Not, you know, the you know the the the, the, the sports. You know the tournament come. You know so, and you talked about the NFF president. You know being grateful to me and all. That I think that the greater gratitude goes to the president. I mean for for doing an unusual thing. Yeah, and I, I keep saying it. Let's get back to our history books. You know, it's um, that in one fell swoop, 
the president of a country, I mean, could sign off close to 12 billion, you know, not just sign off. Usually, for people like us that who've been around, you know, my years in the National Assembly, you know, you go through periods in which, you know, you know, releases are made, they're not cash backed, approvals are made, you know, you can't get the money. You know, but I can tell you, Aaron, you know, that they close to 12 billion you know, the entire money was released. I mean, released to the last couple. I mean, this shows the kind of support that government gave. And let me also thank, I don't know how, you know, what else you'd like me to talk about. I mean, so, so I also sit here quite grateful and gratified to, you know, the entirety of the Nigerian people for giving the kind of huge support that they gave to this team. I mean, starting from not believing in the team as the tournament pro, you know progressed and proceeded you know the entire country was together you know so 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 why not i mean we've not won the tournament i'm not returning back to nigeria with the cup but i think i'm also returning you know not i mean i mean glad that you know at the accomplishments of this team glad that the kind of support government gave this team and glad at the kind of massive support that nigerians gave to this team i mean i'm glad about all of that yeah all right sir um cynics skeptics have still been out there insisting that these are just promises that particular 12 billion because uh, we must actually state this here. When we talk about the 12 billion, for those out there that do not understand, when you speak about monies being released, now we're talking about camp allowances, um, daily bonuses, winning bonuses have been paid. But that 12 billion has to do with the backlog. Some are still insisting that, oh, that it is just mere promises. Talk to Nigerians. At what stage is that particular money right now? Because everyone will want to know, now that the team has lost, do we, do we just ignore that something was released? But well, where are we at right now with that particular 12 billion, which is now the backlog? We know the AFCON has been settled, but the backlog of salaries, wages, remunerations, that the 12 billion covers for all the cadres of the national team. Talk to us about this. Well, Aaron, I'm, I'm the one that took the request, you know, to Mr. President, you know, so I'm the one that is most familiar with the details, you know, outside the NFF itself. And this close to 12 billion had, you know, about three components. You know, one of the first components was that we had a senior national team coach, Pesairo, who had not been paid for close to 12 months, I mean 15 months, you know, whose, you know, total salary was about 1.3 five zero million dollars you know it was part of that i mean we had like you said rightly said outstanding you know you know allowances you know match bonuses not just for the senior national team but for all the national teams both male and female under 20 and all of that that was the second component and then most of all we had a component that had to do with the afcon uh, you know because don't forget in anticipation of the timing of the AFCON and the fact that budget, even though passed and assented to, releases would not have started. So all of this was part of the request that was made. And all of I mean, and it was all approved. Um, and I repeat again on this program that by said, the last, you know, match that was played yesterday, the finals between Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire, that not one cobble of that money has not been released. I mean, it, it's um, it's um, and and it, it mattered to me, it mattered to me to make sure that you know I move on this. I mean, and I can tell you that um, you know not one cover of that of that of that approved funds have not been released. And you know these releases, you know, go from you know after the president's approval. Uh, you know, from the Ministry of Finance to the Office of the Accountant General and to the, you know, to the CBN. I'm, I'm now not going to sit here and begin to now get into the nitty gritty details of what and what. I mean, all I can say is that as of yesterday, you know, before the match was played, all the monies have been released. All right, sir. Um, you are in sports and unlike probably other ministries, Sports is very peculiar because performances of major actors in their various arenas might, dis might determine the legacy you leave behind. And this is a very, very busy year. And I must say this because we have the African Games in Ghana in a few months, I mean, next month in March. Then the big one, the Olympics, that will be in Paris in the summer. And we look at all this. 
it is it is it is always very expensive to run all these programs so as we're leaving this right now even though we've been able we didn't hit our mark the next point of call for Nigerians, more importantly, will be the Olympics. The followership for the African Games and the appetite is not large, but the Olympics is always a sticking point because they want to know how many medals has the team garnered on the board. And more importantly, this same issue about remuneration, this same issue about uh, athletes welfare. In time past, we've had a complete mess of it. At least not getting jerseys, at least not being properly paid, at least not living on time to the games. You have a lot on your place, sir. Are you prepared for what is ahead? This is just the beginning. 2024 is leading with quite a lot of possibilities for glory or shame. Well, Aaron, I mean, it's, um, I don't know whether to start this by saying that. It's actually quite unfortunate. Unfortunately, to the extent that, I mean, it's... Um, Okay, I'm just four months and counting, you know, as Minister of Sports Development. And, and I'm greeted with, you know, this, you know, number of tournaments. It's um, the, the, Africa, the, the Africa Cup of Nations, which, you know, got concluded yesterday. You write the African Games coming up in Accra, Ghana. In spite of, you've talked about the test not being as huge and as large. I mean, it's a competition at the African continent. And Nigeria is going to compete in many more sports, many more games than even the Olympics, you know. Know, perhaps and then the Olympics coming up in July and the Paralympics. You know, so so it's a competition year. And and, and, and for me it's um, and you're right, you know, the, the, the measurables in this sector that I preside you know over have to do with you know you know whether you are winning, whether you are losing, you know, and all of that. But you're also right when you talk about you know the all the mess and all the problems you know of the past. So my 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 continuing hope is that you know for every of this competition you know i'll provide a leadership that avoids the mess of the past i mean it, that, that's my continuing hope and that you know this government you know of president asuajibola met tinubu you know that has you know demonstrated more than any other government you know the, the, the importance of sports how much it is willing to support sports to the extent that it's created a separate Ministry of Sports Development and has not just created it, it has, you know, it, the government has demonstrated it by what kind of support it gave for AFCON, that that support is going to continue. It's, um, I find out that, again, it, you know, two things, you know, you know one of the first is a, a sustainable funding model for sports. It's a, I'm challenged, if there's one thing that has continued to challenge and to tax my brain, it has had to do with what sustainable funding model for sports can be put in place. Maybe coming from my background in the National Assembly, I had chaired you know, the committees on finance revenue in both the House of Reps and in the Senate. And also maybe because of what I find, I mean, I'm not one that sits and then you are, you are, you are in charge of a ministry or a sector. And on a continuing daily basis, you are saying no money, no money, no money. And this sector is a sector that you have requests and demands for money on a daily basis. Because every day, every moment, Nigerian sportsmen and women are competing either internally or outside or abroad and things like that. The other thing that I talked about is the fact that the challenge going forward for me has to do with the challenge of how much focus and attention we give to competitions which are coming as frequently as they're coming, and what kind of attention we give to development. At what point are we going to have that luxury to say that, okay, you know, it, it's, um, we're focusing on development so that eventually the outcomes of competition can be more favorable and more positive for Nigerians. You know, it does appear that the most we can do is to continue to manage both. Nigerians have a thirst for victories and for winning. You know, so they won't give us that luxury of saying that, hey, just hold on, let us see how much we can do trying to develop these sports and this game. We'll try to do, you know, it's a balancing act that is difficult, but we're going to try to see the best that we can do. What I can say is that if it is leadership, it's providing leadership leadership you know for our sports if it's leading by being exemplary if it's i mean i mean it, it, I'm, I'm 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 ready and i'm willing you know to provide it for the sake of nigerian sports and for the sake of bringing back 
liveliness and happiness to the homes of Nigerians. All right, I want to say many thanks to you, Senator John Enno. Trust me, several athletes out there and their coaches will be happy to hear this like this as we get into the thick of the action for the African Games and the Summer Olympics and the Paralympics. Uh, that's the much we can actually take today. I want to say I'm turning it back to you in the studio. Vimbai, you've actually had it all. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you so much for that, uh, Aaron Akerajola. We have to keep moving.